Hi, and welcome to this edition of Spotlight on the Bentonville Park District. I'm Rick Robbins, the Executive Director of the District. With me today, we're going to be talking about our aquatic soup, uh, aquatics programs and our water park here in Bensonville. And with me is Stephanie Whittington, our new, brand new, just a few weeks ago, literally, um, uh, Aquatic and Leisure Center Manager for the district. And also Haley Nickel, who's our swim lesson coordinator. And they're really here to share what fun opportunities you can have at our Bensonville Water Park. And uh, Stephanie, I know summer is in full swing. We're open at the park. Uh, what can you tell us, those folks who maybe have never been to our water park, what will they find there when they come? Uh, well, thank you, Rick. Um, what they can find when they come to the water park is a 155 foot water slide. Um, part of it's enclosed and part of it's open, so I know um, when kids go down, adults go down, they just have a blast. Um, we have two drop slides in our deep well. Uh, the deep well is about 13 feet, so we want to make sure that, um, that everybody that goes on those slides knows how to swim. Um, so there's two slides we have, um, also a diving board on that. Um, okay. We do have a children's play feature in our zero depth entry pool. And what's neat about the zero depth entry pool, uh, Bensonville was the, f the first to ever do a zero depth entry pool. So that was um, quite a feat and that was, I guess, the talk of the area at the time. So we were excited that um, we were part of history on, on the aquatics front. Because we I know, <laughs> like right now, everybody makes zero depth entry, entry, entry pools where they go indoor and outdoor. So this right. is, it's, it's really a lot of fun. Certainly the standard. I know at the time, I think folks dressed like me right here were always coming over <laughs> to see our facility and planning their next pool or water park in whatever community in the Chicago or state of Illinois or even the Midwest. So Yeah, and Illinois really has been on the forefront of, of aquatics and uh, the park districts here in Bensonville and around the area have really just made a name for themselves with aquatics as well. Um, we also have uh, six lanes that we utilize in the main, main tank of the pool. Um, we have a few uh, swim meets throughout the season, um, so they use it as well. Um, we also have a playground and a volleyball court, sandy areas, um, so there's lots of activities for those who don't want to go in the water, um, be submerged in the, in the pool itself. Um, we also have a splash pad. Uh, splash pad's pretty interactive, um, usually parents with tots go in it, but even adults have fun in the splash pad as well. Um, we have a full service concession stand. You can get anything from nachos, hot dogs, to chips, sodas, um, slushies. So um, we really have uh, a, a broad range of uh, items to purchase at the concession stand. Yeah, it's really a full service aquatic facility. It's certainly one of the nicest in the area, even though it is uh, going on 30 years old but uh, we've certainly uh, done and staff has done a great job of maintaining it, keeping it viable through all these years and we continue to try to put new things into it to, to make it that way. So the water park is open, we're underway. What are the hours for the uh, park? Um, we're open every day daily from 11 to 7 p.m. Uh, now until August 21st, um, starting on the 22nd, the splash pad will be open and that um, will be open daily from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay, so even though school goes back in, so we really lose our lifeguard crew, and that's one of the main reasons why you won't see pools right. open after school uh, opens up, uh, but we'll still have a splash pad opportunity where people can still come and cool off. Exactly. Correct? Great, great. Um, We've got, uh, not only can you just come daily, but you could certainly come as a group, or we would really love to see more birthday parties out at our water park. We would love that. What a great opportunity uh, for a family to bring a group of kids to the park. Can you tell us about our packages that we've had? Um, we have a splash and birthday party package, and we, we have do two different price points um, that people can choose from. One is uh, uh, daily and weekend package, um, and those are usually at, starting at 135. And what's included in that is um, cupcakes for, and you have your choice of vanilla and chocolate. 
um, sodas uh, for all the participants. Uh, we also have a birthday party shirt that the birthday party child gets, and then we uh, provide sunglasses for the guests, as well as a buy one, get one free coupon that goes to all the guests as well. Um, we have twilight birthday parties that are at a discounted rate. Um, those hours are between 5 and 7 p.m. Um, daily and uh, throughout the week. And they're only um, $110 for residents, $125 uh, for non-residents, and each additional child for that is $6 per child. So when they get how many kids? They get 12? 12, 12 kids. The birthday child and 12 guests. Yes. So. 13 kids, basically, you're getting them all into the water park for the day. They're getting a giveaway. The child, the birthday child's getting a t-shirt. They're all getting a buy one, get one free pass to come back another day. Correct. And the cupcakes and refreshments, all of that, that's a tremendous value. Yeah, and, and we have, since we have the concession stand, um, we do have meal options as well. We can add a meal to their party if Correct. they like, right? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, that's awesome. Um, so, if you just want to come and swim, is the park just for kids, families? What options are there? Oh, we, we service anybody at all ages, um, infants all the way up to seniors. So, um, what I've noticed since I've been here in Bensonville, um, especially when we just open, are uh, just people coming in to lay out. Um, and just have a yeah. good time. So it's not just kids and families. Um, we get people throughout the community and the neighbor, neighboring communities that come and visit us um, just to have fun, relax. Um, the atmosphere is really nice. Um, we're really in a wooded setting. Um, we're very accessible, so uh, anybody can come on out and, and enjoy the weather and enjoy the time at the, at the water park. We're about 100 yards away from Route 83, but you would never know it because we're surrounded by woods on a couple of sides and our leisure center on the other side. So it is a very nice setting. And uh, like you said, I think there are a lot of folks, non-residents included, who like coming to our park. They like the feel of it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So Haley, I don't mind to, mean to leave you out <laughs> no, through all of this, but uh, um, what are some other things that uh, <clears throat> folks might need to know about our park? And sure, well, I think it's a really good opportunity. Um, we employ about 100 young employees uh, throughout the summer, which is a really great opportunity for young people to get involved in their community as well as first beginning jobs, uh, especially our lifeguards. Um, it is really an underrated position because right. these these young people have ex extreme um, accountability and responsibility on themselves and I think it is a great opportunity for them to really learn how to function in a work setting and also being held accountable for people's safety. Sure. So it's a wonderful way to learn about yourself and about um, your teamwork uh, capabilities so I think that's really wonderful. Also the, the park also um, incorporates many summer camps. So the day camps from Bensonville come daily. Um, they have a really great rapport with our staff and we love having them there. Also our NEDSRA um, camps come as well um, about a couple times a week, so we love having them there. And we also have the Kiwanis Shelter, which is right next to our pool. So if summer camps would like to come and eat or family reunions come and eat, big groups um, are welcome to have their outside food and grill out there before they come into the park or afterwards. And I know that shelter, just it's right adjacent to the park. Mm -hmm. And I know Correct. it's rented a lot throughout the summer yes. for just that purpose. Uh, families, groups get it, rent it, hang out there all day, mm -hmm. cook on the grill and come in and out of the water park. as. Yeah, as it makes for a really can. great day, great sure. weekend. Yeah. That's awesome. Tell me about the accomplishments of our lifeguard staff. I know we take great pride in that. Safety is number one mm -hmm. when you're running an aquatic facility. There's no doubt about it. We're in the business of fun, but we can only provide that fun if we make sure you're safe first. Of course. So how, how is our staff? Our staff is phenomenal. Um, I started out here as a lifeguard about six years ago, and I've worked my way up now. I'm a manager of the pool and the swim lessons coordinator. So I can say firsthand that if even from the first day I started working here, um, we're held at a very high level, high, at a high standard. Mm -hmm. um, we are an Ellison Associates um, facility, which means that we are a part of arguably the most prestigious um, lifeguarding 
um, company in, in the world. So um, we've been eight straight years platinum or gold, which means which is a tremendous accomplishment for our staff and for our lifeguards. And uh, to become a lifeguard, you must undergo 30 hours of training if you're a first year. And also, even lifeguards that are returning for a second, third, or fourth year um, have to undergo 20 hours of training um, each year they come back. So they're constantly revisiting those skills, constantly making themselves better each year that they're coming back. And, and we incorporate any kinds of new um, strategies or techniques that Ellis throws our and way. And other staff are trained as well, not just the correct. guards, correct? Correct. Um, the pool attendants who you see around the park who are um, assisting with the splash pad facility and also the on top of the slides, um, they go through CPR and first aid training as well as our lifeguards and also our concession stand employees. Great. What's it mean to be to receive the Platinum Award from Ellison Associates? It's a huge honor. Um, that's only awarded to 10% of their facilities worldwide. So having that in, under our belt is quite the accomplishment for our facility. That's awesome. Well, I know we have a tremendous staff, and uh, I know you've got a tremendous leader in Stephanie. Uh, you guys are all just getting to know each other. Um, but uh, I'm looking forward to a fantastic year at the water park. The weather's certainly cooperating this year more than last. And uh, if you haven't bought your pool pass for the season, it's going to be a hot summer. There's still time. So come out and do that and, uh, and find us at the water park. We're going to take a short break and uh, we'll be back after this. Water's Edge Aquatic Center is conveniently located in the Redmond Recreational Complex in Bensonville. The Water's Edge is home of Fenton High School and Wahoo swim teams, featuring an indoor eight lane lap pool and diving well. The Aquatic Center is available for private functions and parties. Learn to swim, stay in shape, or enjoy recreational swimming year round at the Water's Edge Aquatic Center. The Bensonville Community Library, serving a community of readers. Whether you're old or young, a lover of words, music, or computers, the library has something for you. Check out our new Kindles, toddler jams, story and movie nights, or a variety of other activities offered. For more information, call us at 630-766-4642, or check out our schedule on the web at benlib.org. The Bensonville Community Library, celebrating 50 years of library service. Staying connected is important, and at the Village of Bensonville, it has never been easier to keep up to date with what's happening in our community. On your phone, PDA, PC, laptop, or tablet, the Village of Bensonville website offers easy integration, so you'll stay connected at home, in the office, or on the road. To follow us on Facebook, simply go to the Bensonville homepage and click on the Facebook icon in the lower left-hand corner. This will take you to the Bensonville Facebook fan page. Once there, click the like button to add us to your newsfeed and receive regular updates from around town. To follow us on Twitter, simply go to the Bensonville homepage and click on the Twitter icon in the lower left-hand corner. This will take you to the Bensonville Twitter page. Once there, click the follow button to add us to your Twitter feed and receive regular community updates. 
To receive email and cell phone notifications, click on the Notify Me button. This will take you to the Notify Me dashboard. Once there, simply add your email address and or cell phone number at the top of the page and then select which service you would like to receive updates from. The most common update section is in the News Flash Bensonville News. Click on the envelope icon for email alerts and on the phone icon for phone alerts. You can choose one, the other, or both. To watch our public access cable show or board meetings, simply click on the Bensonville Web TV button on the lower left sidebar menu of the homepage. This will take you to our streaming center where you can play current and past Bensonville cable TV shows and board meetings. To pay your Bensonville utility bill online, just click the online payments button and then follow the instructions provided on our secure payment site. If you have any problem, concern, or question to tell the village, then click on the Bensonville Action Hotline button. This will take you to the Action Line dashboard, where you can explain your issue and receive a response within 48 hours once you have clicked the Submit button at the bottom of the page. Staying connected is important. And at the Village of Bensonville, it has never been easier to keep up to date with what's happening in our community. On your phone, PDA, PC, laptop, or tablet, the Village of Bensonville website offers easy integration, so you'll stay connected wherever you are. Welcome back. We're here uh, talking about uh, the Bensonville Park District and our aquatics facility, the Bensonville Water Park. I'm here with Stephanie Whittington and Haley Nickel. And um, we've talked a lot about the park. Um, one of the main priorities and goals of any aquatic facility of any community and park district is to assure safety in the water. And to do that, we want to teach them how to swim. So Haley, I know you're our, our swim lesson coordinator this year. Is it too late to register or what do they need to do to get involved in lessons? Sure, so it's definitely not too late. Um, our first session started this Monday and we're continuing into our second week next week. Um, but if people are still interested, they may sign up for the second, third, or fourth sessions this year. So those lessons will begin for the second session on June 27th. So if anyone is interested, uh, sign up as soon as you can. And also our third and fourth sessions will run through July and until August 4th. So they have an extended period of time. It's actually the first year that we're doing a fourth session for our swim lessons, which is really great. Um, so parents have even more opportunity if they're going on vacation. Um, they have more um, options of dates that they can enroll their students in lessons. Um, and we offer a really wide variety of levels and personalized um, instruction for our um, students that we have in swim lessons. Um, the ranges of age range from you know just a toddler around two or three in our TOTS sure. class. Um, we do have that in the very zero depth water. Um, all the way up to levels four and five, which are really preparing students for competitive swim team or swimming at a level that they could compete if they desired. So um, all the way from the very beginning ages, we tried to work on proper leg movement, arm movement in different strokes, such as freestyle, backstroke, breaststroke. Um, and we do work on floating and, and really all of the skills that any child would need to um, swim in a pool where they couldn't touch the bottom. So we have a really great number of, of uh, times that we can offer those lessons. We have AM lessons, PM lessons, and also Saturday morning lessons that whatever time is convenient for parents. Um, we are very flexible with the amount of kids we can have in each class and the amount of kids that we can have um, at each time. So um, there's tons of opportunities. We have multiple or numerous instructors that are very, very willing and very passionate about the kids that they're teaching. So that sounds great. I know, really we've, I know we've uh, added a lot of lessons and, in, and as you mentioned, a fourth session this year just over the last couple of years and part of that is to yes. give more flexibility and more oppor opportunities and options to parents, uh, in particular the Saturday, the evening lessons, right. those kinds of things. Um, so that sounds great. What's a typical swim lesson like? 
Well, it really depends on the level, but um, across the board, we start with stretching about five minutes before the desired lesson time. Um, that's just to get kids comfortable and warmed up before they get in the water and to meet their teachers. Once they're in the water, they usually do a warm, warm up activity just to get them, you know, if it's a little bit more of a chilly day, we get them warmed up and, and acclimated to the water. Um, then each class works on a different set of skills that will be preparing them to pass that said level onto the next um, and to always um, refine their skills and techniques. So that's going into um, certain kicking, floating, um, arm movement, stroke technique, breathing, um, and treading. So we do all sorts of things throughout each class, but each class has a variety of activities that we teach our instructors. Um, each class has also some games incorporated always to make it fun. It's not a lecture by any sure. means, but for the kids to have fun as well. Well, some of this is just the kids not being afraid of the water. Correct. That's a, a lot huge of the first part time of it. kids. Huge yeah. part of it. Yeah, especially for the younger kids. And um, we really stress that, you know, we play games for them to fall into the water, for them to blow bubbles, for different, you know, things that are right. not actually swim technique, but just getting them acclimated and that the water isn't a scary thing. Right. Yeah. So you mentioned, uh, I know the sessions are coming up. You mentioned that we offer lessons when, then throughout the week. Sure. So morning and evening lessons on weekdays will be offered Monday through Thursday for two weeks. Okay. And um, the morning lessons run from about 9.20 to 10.30, and the evening lessons run from about 5.50 until the park closes at 7 o'clock. Okay. Um, for both of the weekday and evening lessons, we do have a family fun day on the second Friday of each session, which is really great. It's an hour that we open the park completely to all of our swim lessons, kids and parents. The whole family is invited. There's really no limit on the people that you can bring, and the kids are able to show off the skills that they've learned the last two weeks, then go down the slides, off the diving board, and it's really a wonderful time. Nice. Um, the Saturday lessons are also similar times, running from about 9.30 until 10.45, and those are also offered on two four-week um, segments or one eight-week long period. Okay, that sounds great. What types, of, so that's, that's, those are kids' lessons. What mm -hmm. type of programs, ladies, do we have for the adults at the pool and sure. that they might want to partake in? Um, we have an Aqua Zumba class that <coughs> um, I believe we started last year. Um, usually they start in July, early July, and I believe the date is July 9th. Okay. Um, so we have a chance for adults to come out and use the, use the pool for their fitness. Um, and just to have fun, it's great to be outside. There's nothing like working out outside. Um, when the weather's great, um, the sun's shining down, or the sun's going down, or what yeah. you know, whatever time of the day it is, it's it's just a different setting. And oh, by the way, you don't have to worry about how hot it is exactly. because you're in the pool. You're in the pool, so <laughs> even though you might be sweating, but you're actually being refreshed as well. Yeah. So um, that's really nice. We also have a basic water aqua fitness class. Um, that so our the days that we have those are on Tuesdays and Thursday evenings. Okay. I know we had our summer kickoff event mm -hmm. already, and we had a tremendous record number, over 1,300 people that evening at the pool. Mm -hmm. um, what other kind of events do we have uh, coming up for the summer? I know we've got at least a, another one or two new events for the... Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm really excited about the luau that we're having at the water park. Um, I've, I've been a part of luau's before, and they're just a great time uh, to get together with the family. Um, we cook out. Um, I know that we've had burgers and you can put your options on top like pineapple slices. Um, so that's really fun. There's different things in the concession stand that we offer on particular the day of the Lua. So that's a lot of fun as well. Um, so it's just a great time. Um, we have um, like a Hawaiian theme going on. So we have dancers and we get the kids are all out on the pool deck and they're just dancing away and just having a blast. So I know we have a Hawaiian dance mm -hmm. troupe that comes that's very interactive. I happen to see it. I may there may be video of me last <laughs> year, I'm not sure. Uh, it hasn't been shown in public yet, but uh, actually it was pretty good, I'm just gonna say. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a really neat night and it's fun to watch those dancers and watch them. You can get up there and practice and learn with them and uh, uh, that's new. So what other events do we have coming up? Um, we have a, a dive-in movie, which is coming okay. back this year. So we're really excited about that. I believe it's SpongeBob Out of Water. So it's a good time that you can bring, this is the one time that you can bring your rafts in and kind of just float around the pool and watch the movie. Um, it'll be in the early evening. We'll have plenty of guards on staff and the concession stand will be open. So 
that'll be a, another good time uh, to come into the park and and just have a good time. Um, the other event we're having in July is going to be our teen night. So the teen night, you know, we're inviting age, I think, believe it's 11 through 17 year olds. So we've got middle school and high schoolers. Um, we're drawing from the local area. Uh, anybody in the surrounding areas can attend as well. Um, we have a, a DJ who actually goes to the high school who's going to be um, playing the music for us. And um, it's the same DJ. So if you were at our fam, uh, free night, uh, it's going to be that same okay. DJ. So he did a really great job and he's a teen. So what better way to have fun that night is, you know, to have their own music and just just to have a night for themselves. Right. So I think that's that's like seven to nine thirty that mm -hmm. evening is it's only five bucks, I think, to get in. Yes. And so you get all that activity, the music and the pool and everything for a really nice after hours event for right. just five bucks. You can't beat that. Right. And it's only it's between you know eleven to eighteen ages ages of students. So um, it's really great for them to have their own night for themselves and it'll be on July twenty second. Great, great. Well, ladies, anything else that you'd like to tell me about aquatics here in Bensonville? Because I know it's going to be a great summer, right? Absolutely. Already it's has going been. to be an awesome <laughs> summer. It's, it's been hot already, so it has we, been. we've been busy at the water park already. So we're just excited to just get this community going and, and really have a great year, um, a great season at the water park. And we hope to see everybody out there. Awesome. Um, we need our parking lot filled up. So yeah. We sure do. Thank you so much for being here and joining me and joining our viewers today. We appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh, again, uh, it's not too late to come out and buy your pool pass. It's not too late to buy uh, just coupon books or whatever it might be to get into the water park that you want to do or just come by daily. We certainly, uh, that's what most folks do anyway. Um, but uh, we'd love to have you out there. We're open seven days a week, 11 to 7. Mm -hmm. and. Um, it's going to be a great summer, but it's going to be even better if you join us at the Bensonville Water Park. For my staff here and myself, uh, we thank you for joining us on Spotlight and the Bensonville Park District.